friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just had a very unhealthy lunch, but it was very relaxed, just sitting in the garden. The weather is not what it was supposed to be, like it was supposed to be very sunny and very warm. It is warm, but it's, there's no sun, at least not here. Um, but well, I suppose that's fine. Uh, and I thought of today it would be fun to have like a reading vlog, just like a chill, relax and uh, just talk about books. If you're new here, hi, my name is Juliette. I post every Friday or Saturday and uh, I just mainly talk about books, Disney and all the stuff that happened in my life and I kind of really want to share with you. Um, and I thought it would be fun to kind of start off with just talking about the books I've been reading recently. And the first one I would like to talk about is... Um, the book I finished listening to yesterday, and that was Cat Among the Pigeons by Agatha Christie. And this is a book that uh, follows mainly like a school, a girls' school, where they uh, sleep as well and they stay there. And it features Poirot, but he doesn't really show up until the end of the book, which I always forget. It is very thrilling and there's a lot of death and murder. And it's just a school where suddenly a mistress, a school mistress is killed and then they the police come they start to investigate some children are mixed up in it as well they start to investigate on their own and there's a mystery going on as well a revolution and then suddenly her pro ends up at the end and he tries to solve the whole mystery which i actually really like i really enjoy the characters i love Agatha Christie's work so i love her writing style i love the way she writes everything she tells the stories so engaging so there, it's so easy to read and it is, I just love her work. I love reading her stuff and this is one of the books that I really enjoy because I really love the characters. They're very funny, um, very witty as well. I really enjoy Mistress uh, Bulstrode, uh, the headmistress, who is very clever but also very cool and relaxed and she kind of, she doesn't panic which you quite often find in murder mysteries, especially set around that time period where women always panic but everyone seemed to be relaxed and chilled and I really loved the amount of murders that are happening in this one. It just, there's a point in this book that you just don't know if people are going to live or if they're going to die and that's something that I really enjoy in detective and mysteries. And another book I recently read is The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Laurie Gilmore. This was also a reread. I read this book last year and I love it. I I love this reread as well. I bought the um, sequel, The Cinnamon Bookstore, uh, two weeks ago and I was a little bit nervous because I knew I re really enjoyed this book but I still was a little bit nervous about buying the sequel. I was like, I'm not sure if I'm really... It's not it's not my n typical reading. Like I love Agatha Christie and murder mysteries and most of the other books I read are fantasy. And this is not a fantasy book. This is an, just a very chill, relaxed book, uh, contemporary romance uh, set in autumn. It's super cozy. It's uh, set in Dream Harbor, a little village and uh, Jeannie is one of the main characters. She goes there to take over the cafe, the pumpkin spice cafe from her aunt. And she actually goes there to kind of leave her life from Boston behind her. She doesn't want to do anything with her life anymore. Uh, she quit her career and she now tries to kind of find herself in a small little town. And there of course she meets the other char main character, Logan, who uh, is a farmer. Um, and they meet and obviously they fall in love together. Um, and... Yeah, it's, I know that the love story itself might not be the best and that's why it, this is definitely like a four star for me. It's I love everything else about it. I love the setting, the atmosphere in the book. I love the other characters around it as well. The whole family feeling you have in a small town and the coziness. It's all very magical. The love story itself might not be the best because you know from the first page in, and they meet each, uh, when they meet you know they're going to fall in love and it is a little bit on the nose but at the same time it's still interesting I think and it's a very slow build relaxed romance story and I just really enjoyed it and I love my reread as well and I can't wait to start the sequel 
So these were the two books I've been reading recently and I... Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you about the other stuff very soon, for you just a couple of seconds. And I think I'm going to pick up the sequel, The Cinnamon Bookstore by Laurie Gilmore, and I think I might just continue reading this one. Um, it's the same atmosphere and the same coziness as the first book. You do follow two different main characters. Uh, you kind of follow the side characters you met in the first book. So Noah and Hazel. For now, I'm not that far in. I'm just at chapter uh, 6. And I do feel that you could read this without having read the first book. Um, but I'll let you know later on. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this so far and I I can't wait to continue reading this one. But I did something. I bought a couple of books this week and uh, from my local bookstore. They didn't have it in the store itself when I... I visited them last week and the week before um, and they didn't have it in the store. So I decided to uh, order them online. I don't always like ordering books online, if I'm honest. I kind of prefer to just go to the store itself and kind of pick my own copy. If that sounds ridiculous, I'm sorry, but I kind of prefer that. Anyhow, I ordered um, a couple of books and one of them uh, is a pre-order, so I won't have it until I think at the end of September. Uh, but anyway, I have two of them, but I did something because you, when you order the books, I realized I could um, have them gift wrapped it and I could also uh, leave a message so I kind of bought two presents for myself, if that makes any sense. I kind of wanted to try it out and see how it looked in case... Well, I have had in the past that I'm like late with buying a gift for someone or I can't go to their party or um, birthday and then it would be nice to buy something online and have it nicely wrapped in wrapping paper and uh, like a nice card with it. And I've done that before with other books, um, with other books at other stores, but I've never done it here. So before I sent it to someone else, I kind of wanted to try to see how it looks. So that's what I did. It kind of feels weird because it kind of feels like I just ordered, I don't know, presents for myself, I suppose. But let me see. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is how they looked. I decided to try out um, both of the wrapping papers they had. Uh, it was actually for free, so that's amazing. I really like it actually. Uh, they had like this children's wrapping paper, which is super cute. I hope it's focused. Yes, it does. But it's so cute and I, it's very autumn vibes. I really, really like this. And I also have the adult wrapping paper, which I also really like. I love the color green and I think it's very well and neatly done. So this is actually the brand of my local bookstore. In case you're ever in Rotterdam, I highly suggest you visit this one. It's an amazing store. Oh, that's really cute. I also ordered like little cards. You could like order a card with it, with the book and then like put down a description and they would print it and I did. I um, printed out a little say of Walt Disney and it looks really really cute. I like it. It's solid, actually it's a solid card which I did not expect because I've done this reason a couple of years ago with an older bookstore and it was just like printed out paper. This actually looks really nice so I really, I am impressed. I am really impressed by um, how they wrap everything so I might actually make more use of the service for birthdays and stuff. 
So one of the first books I bought is The Honey Witch by um, Sydney J. Seals. And I bought the hardcover, which looks like this. And is super pretty. And has a really, really cute. Yeah, I like it. I have not read this book, so I really don't know if I'm going to like it. But the honey witch is a curse to never find true love. But when she meets a woman who doesn't believe in magic, she dares to hope for more. So, I don't know, I read this somewhere, or at least I read this when I was in the bookstore, and I really, it intrigued me, and I love, I know it, this is like a cozy witch cottage core uh, story, and I really enjoy those. So, I kind of wanted to buy this one. So, let's unwrap my second book. I really like that how you, when you open it, you get to see like the card. Oh, it's upside down. And I really like that the card is like not on top of the uh, wrapping paper, but it's like in the side with the book. So I really, really like that. And I put another quote here as well from Oscar Wilde. And again, it's, it looks really cute. I like it. I really like the idea with the cards and stuff. And the second book I bought is The House Witch and the Enchanting of the Hearth. Um, I've had my eyes on this book for, I don't know, a couple of months actually now. And I don't know, I decided that it was time to buy it. And I kind of, I was looking for cozy witch stories for the autumn. And um, yeah, this one really caught my eye. And I have to admit that this is a uh, cover buy. Because look at how pretty this cover is. It's so stunning. I really, really love covers and books that, I don't know, the drawings are amazing. I really love this. I love this type of cover. Um, and that's kind of the reason why I bought it. I don't even know what, what the story is about. So I have to admit, I'm a little bit afraid um, that I bought it and I didn't really look into it. I have not even looked it up in Goodreads. I haven't really seen this around on Instagram or TikTok a lot. I've seen it on Instagram a couple of times, but not as much as other books. But yeah, I don't know. I this, It looks so cozy. It looks perfect. About my TBR for September. I've got a little book stack that I would like to share with you um, from all the books that I would like to read in September. I'm also kind of leaning towards the book that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Um, the ones that I got uh, in my book mail today, um, these two. I don't know, I kind, of, I kind of really want to start reading them now, but at the same time I'm also dying to read the book stack that I have here already planned for September so I'll probably first dive into these and if I got time in September I might start in one of those but anyhow um, the first book is the cinnamon bookstore I just started today and it's already September while I'm filming this and um, yeah I'm definitely planning on reading this book in September I'm really enjoying it so far I do take back what I said at the beginning about um, you do not have to read the first book before you start this one. I don't think you have to, but there is definitely a but. I feel that you will miss out some details that already occurred in book one, especially when it comes down to the other characters in Dream Harbor, um, like the other, like the new main characters, they're definitely newer, so you get to, uh, you get to know them better. 
uh, but at the same time in the first book you already get to know a lot of people who live in Dream Harbor and that kind of like continues in this one and it also references some things that happened in book one so if you really want to have like the full uh, complete feeling and experience with the book I definitely uh, would recommend reading book one first before you start in this one but at the same time if you only focus yourself on the main characters you can definitely read this without having read the pumpkin spice cafe another book that i would like to read is the end of green gables by l m montgomery i've never read this one and um i'm definitely really curious about it i have seen the adaptation from netflix and i really enjoyed it one i'm, I'm still upset that i cancelled uh, that netflix series but i've never read the book and i'm I don't know, I kind of would like to read it and I definitely feel that it will be cozy enough for autumn. Uh, so I definitely, that kind of, I had autumn in mind while picking out my books. I don't know why it still feels like summer here in the Netherlands and officially it's still summer. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know, I really love autumn. So I'm kind of already getting into the autumn vibes. And I'm not sure if this has any autumn vibes, but I don't know, I know from what i saw in the netflix adaptation it was a very cozy and heartwarming story and i kind of feel that those two things really go very well in autumn so that's why i picked this one out and besides that i love this cover and i really love this edition it is so pretty and then for another uh, autumn vibe book i decided to read emily Wells' map of other lands and this book is the sequel to Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. And I was obsessed with her first book. I love it so much. I pre-ordered this one. So I've got it on my shelf for a couple of months now. <laughs> but I haven't read it yet. Mostly because I don't know how you guys feel about it. But when I've read the first book in the series and I love it so much. I'm always a little bit hesitant to start reading the sequel. Even though I'm super excited for it, I'm also a little bit afraid that I might not enjoy the sequel as much as I did for the first book. But I am definitely dying to read this one and it kind of follows uh, Emily Wilde again uh, while she goes on another adventure and um, with a, bar a bumblebee, Wendell Bumblebee, I always forget how to pronounce his name. Um, I don't really want to know more about it than I already did. The first book uh, that I already do now. The first book, Emily Wells' Encyclopedia about fairies, is a book where she travels to um, different lands and there she kind of goes and does her research about fairies. And one of the things that I really enjoyed about the book is that it feels, um, it feels as if it's all taking place in our own world, but then like back in the past so like in the 18 1900s and uh, at the same time it's it's super super magical but the fairies themselves they are very creepy super scary and i love that about the first book i also really enjoyed her the relationship dynamic between uh, wendell bumblebee and emily wilde so i'm definitely dying to see how that develops in this book and how they will continue having their relationship uh, grow, hopefully. Uh, at least that's what I really hope. One of my reading goals this year was to read a French book each month. Uh, to kind of like improve my French reading. Well, I know for a fact that I haven't done that. Especially in August, I know I skipped that month. I don't really know how many French books I read this year. I have read it down somewhere, so I'll, I'll probably be able to count them. But for this month, I've decided to kind of... Well, I still want to get to my goal at 12 books by the end of the year. So I kind of would like to read two French books this month. But I do feel I'm like a little bit cheating because I decided to go for, um, well, smaller books. Uh, and hopefully I will make it. At least that's what I hope. The first book I would like to read is La Belle et la Bête by Madame de Villeneuve or Beauty and the Beast. It's one of the original uh, stories from Beauty and the Beast. I already read uh, the one from Beauchamp, I think her name is, uh, a couple of months ago. I don't think I ever read this one. I've had it on my shelves for a very long time, so it's time to read this one as well. And another one I would like to read is actually a reread. is La Guerre de Clans. Uh, by Erin um, uh, Hunter, uh, Retour à l'été sauvage. 
and this is Into the Wild. Um, it's Warrior Cats and it is book number one. I have read, oh you can probably see actually in the background, I've got like my Warrior Cats books all over here and the first series is just over there and then two and three and a couple of special editions I've got up there as well. I love Warrior Cats. I do think it will be easy to read this in French. I have absolutely no idea. I did however already see that the names obviously are different. So I probably have to make like a little name list with the Dutch names and the French names. So for me it will be easier to track who is who for me in the book. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely hoping to read this during this month. So we've come to the end of the video. And if you're still here, then thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then give it one a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Uh, because I'll be back somewhere next week on Friday or Saturday. And if you're curious to know what, I, what my thoughts are about Cinnamon Bookstore, I'll be sharing a review on my Instagram somewhere next week. So stay tuned for that and go check it out. And next week I think I'll be sharing my Walt Disney World haul. So super excited for that because I bought so many amazing things on my very first trip to Walt Disney World last summer. And I can't wait to share it all with you. So stay tuned as well and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!